Okay, baby. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We'll call the meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll call. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Page? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember Gray? Present. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Trakis? Here. Councilmember Harder? Here. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. I move for approval of the journal of the meeting of February 14, 2017. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Journal's approved. Um, we have no bid openings this evening, so we'll move communications. Mr. Chair, then our tax compromises this evening, so we'll move to zoning matters. Under zoning matters, item number one, fourth district. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number two, fourth district. Receive a file and be directed to prepare the appropriate le legislation. Uh, so ordered. Item number three, sixth district. Receive a file. So ordered. Item number four, sixth district. Receive and file. So ordered. We'll be down to Road Bridge Matters, Mr. Chair. Item number one, sixth district. Receive file on the street be accepted for maintenance as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number two, seventh district. Receive file, petition for a change of street name be denied and the petitioner's filing fee be refunded and a copy of this report to be sent to the interested party. So ordered. Moving on to other communications, Mr. Chair. Item number one, all districts. Receive and file and that will be the order. Item number two. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation and that will be the order. Item number three, all districts. Receive and file and that will be the order. Item number four, fifth district. Receive, file, the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number five, sixth district. Receive, file, and the change of owner be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Item number six, seventh district. Receive, file, and refer to the Department of Transportation and Public Works, to the Department of Planning, and to the county councilor. So ordered. Item number seven, sixth district. Hold on the order of dip business, please. So ordered. Item number eight. Is there a motion to postpone the election for the position of county auditor to um, the agenda of the regular council meeting of February 28, 2017? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number nine, sixth district. Receive file and the county council will be directed to prepare the next appropriate le legislation. So ordered. Item number 10, first district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number 11. Receive file and county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number 12, and that will be the order. Item number 13, third district. Receive file and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion. Item number 14, all districts. Uh, same motion, that will be the order. Item number 15, first district. Receive, file, and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation and a copy of this report be sent to the city of Jennings. So ordered. Item number 16, fifth district. Uh, receive, file, and the county council will be directed <coughs> to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Uh, please read the add ons. No add ons this evening, Mr. Chair. Okay, report from the county executive. Nothing further this evening. Um, no special committees, um, public forum. Six speakers this evening, Mr. Chair, and I still have no time or no until next week. Okay, thank you. Uh, please come to the podium and uh, state your name and address. Uh, keep your comments to three minutes, and uh, please be respectful of everyone in the room and uh, make comments that would make your children and your parents proud. First speaker. First, first speaker this evening is Sandy Zabek. Um, I'm a resident of Oakville for 19 years. My family, many friends, and I enjoy the trails in the area on a regular basis, biking and hiking them. 
However, we must travel outside of Oakville to take advantage of these paved trails. I'm here tonight to support the Cliff Cave Parks Trail. Oakville will benefit aesthetically, economically, physically, and socially by the installation of this trail. This trail will provide a paved and ADA accessible connection for all residents who choose to enjoy the beauty of our area. I would like to ask, please take immediate action to place this bill before the council so the construction can begin within the month. The community of Oakville can benefit tremendously by this enhancement of our area as well as <coughs> residents of all of St. Louis County. I understand from communications I have had with the leaders of Greenway and from what I've heard from Mr. Trakas um, that there have been a number of changes to reflect some of the um, residents' concerns for the project. $1.7 million of our tax dollars have already been expended to this point and the overwhelming opinion I have heard from the community is that um, there is a, a great number of people in favor of the project. I would say no one wants to see us um, use this $1.7 million on a trail development that never comes to fruition. While I don't agree with all the changes, it seems to me that there have been compromises made, which is always the process of government. While they may not please everyone, and they certainly don't all please me, we can look at any one of these trails around our greater St. Louis area, and in my opinion, we have a beautiful addition to making our community more livable, improving our economy through tourism and civic improvement, and preserving and restoring <coughs> open space. Providing opportunities for all of us for physical activity to improve fitness and mental health. May I count on you, Mr. Trakas, to place this before the council and also on each of our council members to support this for the future well being of our county um, as a whole? I thank you for your time and for your attention to this matter. Thanks, Anna. Thank you. Next speaker is Leonard Thomas. My name is Leonard Thomas. I live at uh, 6003 Glen Air Drive, 63129. I'm a retired electrician. My wife and I moved there a year and a half ago. We are about a block and a half off of Herb Road uh, to where the proposed entrance to Cliff Cave Trail will be. Uh, I see no reason why that this should not go ahead uh, immediately. This is a time sensitive project in that the bats that live in Cliff Cave will be coming out of hibernation. And from what I'm told, if they can't cut the trees while the bats are in the forest, as long as they're in the cave, they can go ahead and cut the, do the forest work that they need to do before they put the trail in. Now, Friday I will be three quarters of a century old and I found Cliff Cave to be an excellent place to walk. But I can't walk above the uh, cave now because it's too rigorous to climb up there. The doctors keep putting parts in but uh, there's going to come a time that I will not be able to get up the trails to be in this tranquil area. Now. I can't do anything about yesterday, and maybe I'll have an influence today, but looking to the future, this trail needs to start soon so that my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren can say, my grandfather helped get this trail here. I'm not generally uh, a person who gets involved in things, but this needs to move forward. Now, there has been a concern about access across Telegraph. Now, we have two schools in South County on Telegraph Drive. Uh, one is a middle school, Oakville Middle School, and one is Woven Grade School. Now, these children are released from school afterwards, and they walk up to the stoplight, there's a stoplight right in front of the school, they push your button that stops traffic. The children cross over every day. I've never heard of anybody getting hurt at this thing. 
Now, someone said that they want to build a bridge across uh, Telegraph. That would cost more money than the whole project put together, and it would have to be so long to meet ADA standards to get somebody up it and on it and the grade all the way across Telegraph, which is infeasible. It can't be done. But they could install an herb road and telegraph and push a button on each side. And there would be a safe crossing at that time. I want to thank you for your time and effort, but it is time sensitive. So you can it needs to be considered soon. Thank, thank you, Larry. Next speaker is Kenneth Elliott. Hello, my name is Kenneth Elliott. I live at 2101 Old Winery Road in uh, Oakville, 63129. I too am up here in concerns of Cliff Cave Park, and I'm uh, concerned for the safety, maintenance, and uh, updating of the trails and expansion. I'm both for and against some aspects of this. I have uh, currently emailed the seven district uh, council people earlier today, so hopefully later you guys will have a chance to look over my email and uh, the proposals that I've put out. I, I want to acknowledge that it is, impor it is imperative to um, everyone to meet ADA compliance, not only at the top of the cliff, but also in maintaining the lower parts of the trails at Cliff Cape Park. Um, I, my email will kind of, kind of inform you guys a little further. I have also printed out uh, a drawing of a representation of changes that we could do to meet a lot of um, concerned citizens' uh, wants, needs, and uh, thought process in Oakville. Um, am I able to hand these to you guys now? You can get that Clerk. to me, sir. Okay. And basically, in my drawing, it, it implements two stop signs, one being at the um, Buston Gravel Road and one being at New England Town and Cliff Cave Road. Um, it allows for the parking lot to still be where it's at, just a little further back, so we can put a gate in front of the parking lot so they can open and close the gate when the park is open. In that, we can bring a turnaround in the field area that's already open without cutting any further trees. They've already kind of cut back a little bit of the brush and put, bring out the turnaround right at the, at the stop sign I'm proposing. In this proposal, it leaves the trail going from the parking lot in the bathroom in the upper lot that's proposed to be built down to the cliff and from the cliff down to the lower parking lot section and the current trail that's there. It also proposes the updates and um, of the lower portion of the 5.1 trail. I, I just I would be happy if you guys could just look at it and maybe consider it. And um, I'm unfortunately I'm not a very good public speaker, and that's all I have. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you. Next speaker is Mary Williams. Do you have a comment? Yeah, just one. Can we see the time? The time clock. We don't have a display oh, today. No. Oh, we don't. No. Okay. We'll be uh, back next week, Mr. Chair. I really wasn't planning on speaking today, so I just jotted a few notes. But my name is Mary Kay Williams. I live in Oakville in 63129. And um, I'm here to show my support for the Cliff Cave Trails. Um, <clears throat> this is a time-sensitive matter and needs to begin right away. <clears throat> we don't want to miss out on this wonderful opportunity for our community. This is something that's been planned for two years. <clears throat> Um, I am a teacher in Oakville, and we do have Woolwind Elementary School and Oakville Middle School that are right up from the proposed trail. And students push the button and can walk across the road there also. So I don't think that we should hold up this project for a bridge. Um, also, comparing it to Grant's trails and other trails around, they have buttons where they can push and go right across. So I just want to reiterate that this is something that needs to happen soon so that they can get started on the project. So thank you very much. 
Next speaker is Phil Duval. Good morning. I'm sorry. Good afternoon, Mr. Stinger and the council. Um, I guess I want to start with finding the common ground, something that Mr. Stinger, you and I do agree with, and that's police standards. Um, I'm hearing some very disturbing things about police that are still policing us in North County. Uh, so, so to be in, Ms. Gray, I will be forwarding that information about certain municipalities. Uh, North County Cooperative needs to be looked at. Um, them applying for CALEA standards is fine, but there are police officers that don't need to be policing us. Um, I, so that's what I agree with, Mr. Stinger. Uh, this is addressed to the entire council. There was a Ferguson Commission report that talks about racial equity. If we don't start addressing some of these things, minority contracting, we're, we're prone to repeat what's already happened in Ferguson. Um, we don't need to wait until the election cycle. Uh, I remember, Colleen, that you, you said something to Charlie Dooley uh, during the primary that, Charlie, you're just bringing it up because it's a hot button issue. I'm asking every council person to look within your district and talk to your constituents. I'm talking about those municipalities and find out what is the racial equity of minority contracting. Take some bold initiative. I'm not aware of what the statistics are, Mr. Stinger, so you may be working on that. I don't know. But it is imperative as a region, as a county, to address these issues and to get ahead of them and be proactive. So I hope that we really look at minority contractors. I'm not a minority contractor, but I speak for those who don't come in and speak for themselves. And I want to be able to continue to go out in the community and educate the community as an activist, that it's not a black-white issue. It pains me to remember what happened in Kirkwood in 2008, when someone got that upset that he couldn't get contracts that he came in and shot up the council. Please look at the Ferguson Report, Racial Equity. I'm appealing to all of you, look at Better Together. If we were to look at that police and how much money we could save, it doesn't have to be popular, but it needs to be done. And so, Mr. Stinger, I'll leave you with this. I stand with you about police standards. Because if something happens again, it doesn't have to be a black or white officer. It's going to be an officer that was not trained and a department that is inept. That's three minutes, Mr. Stinger. Thank you. Thank you. Final speaker this evening is Jeffrey Walton. Say good evening. <clears throat> My name is Jeff Walton, and I stay at uh, 1912 Vanita Drive, St. Louis, Missouri, 63114. And I'm here on behalf of Hanley Hills, and also I'm a trustee for the village, been a trustee for the last um, 20 years. And I'm coming on um, in regarding the street lights. I came last month, and I talked uh, in regarding the street lights that St. Louis County wanted to take down. And um, I was coming because of the safety of our kids. Uh, we got a school that's six blocks away from that street light. And I was just wondering why do we want to take that street light down for the safety of our kids. Uh, right now they got the street lights covered and traffic is just, uh, it's just like a, a speeding zone. So um, I just want answers. So thank you very much. We can talk after the meeting. I can tell you what I found out about that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Some more speakers, Mr. Chair. 
introduction of bills. Bill number 44, introduced by Council Member Page, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the county general fund for the year 2017. Bill number 45, introduced by Council Member Page, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the Department of Public Health Fund for the year 2017. Bill number 46, introduced by Council Member Page, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the Park Maintenance Fund for the year 2017. Bill number 47, introduced by Council Member Page, an ordinance to provide for the borrowing of money in anticipation of the collection of taxes and revenues for the Special Road and Bridge Fund for the year 2017. Bill number 48, introduced by Council Member Page, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Cigna Healthcare of St. Louis Incorporated for the Department of Public Health to receive reimbursement for services provided to patients at county health centers. Bill number 49, introduced by Council Member Trachis, an ordinance amending Section 3 of Ordinance 12,483 is amended by repealing and reenacting Section 3 pertaining to PC 246-85, Frank Lita. Mr. Chair, that is all the bills. Perfection. Bill number 26, introduced by Council Member Trakis. We move to hold Bill number 26. Second. Bill number 26 is held. Bill number 41, introduced by Council Member Walton Gray. Mr. Chair, we have a substitute bill. <coughs> Please read the substitute. Substitute bill number one for bill number 41, introduced by Council Member Walton Gray, an ordinance providing for the appointment of a legislative research director. I move for the adoption of substitute bill number one for bill number 41. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. no. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? No. Councilmember uh, Gray? Yes. Councilmember Dolan? No. Councilmember Trakis? No. Councilmember Harder? No. Mr. Chair, on the motion to adopt substitute bill number one for bill number 41, there are three ayes and four noes. Uh, motion fails. Substitute uh, number one for bill number 41 is not adopted. I move to hold bill number 41. Uh, bill number 41 is held. Bill number 42 introduced <coughs> by Council Member Page. I uh, move to perfect bill number uh, 41 or 42. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Bill number 42 is perfected. Bill number 43 introduced by Council Member Page. Uh, Move to perfect Bill number 43. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> bill number 43 is perfected. Final passage. Bill number 116 introduced by Council Member Dolan. Please hold Bill number 116. Hold. Bill number 24, introduced by Council Member Trakis. Please hold Bill number 24. Bill number 24 is held. Bill number 37, introduced by Council Member Harder. I move for final passage of Bill number 37. Second. Um, <coughs> roll call. Council Member Irby. Aye. Council Member Page. Aye. Council Member Wassinger. Aye. Council Member Gray. Aye. Council Member Dolan. Aye. Council Member Trakis. Aye. Council Member Harder. Uh, just before my vote, I'd like to make a statement. Um, <coughs> Transparent and accountable government is the duty of public service. Rebuilding the trust with St. Louis County taxpayers is the highest importance. On March 10th, 2015, the County Council passed a resolution asking for this information. Occasionally, it was provided in the manner requested. Now, tonight, this request will be codified in an ordinance within the purchasing guidelines. Previously, council members and citizens have had to request this type of information from department heads in reference to new bills. The fiscal note ordinance makes this information more accessible to the citizens and policymakers, transparency being the primary goal. The purpose of this ordinance is to increase communication for the residents and the county government in concise and plain language format. I vote aye. Mr. Chair, on bill number 37, there are seven ayes. Bill number 37 is finally passed. Bill number 38, introduced by Council Member Wassinger. I move for final passage of Bill number 38. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member Gray? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Trachis? Aye. Council Member Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 38, there are seven ayes. Bill number 38 is finally passed. Bill number 39, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 39. Second. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember Gray? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? 
Aye. Councilmember Trakis? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 39, there are seven ayes. Bill number 39 is finally passed. Bill number 40, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. And move for final passage, Bill number 40. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember Gray? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Trakis? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 40, there are seven ayes. Uh, bill number 40 is finally passed. Moving on to resolutions, Mr. Chair, we have six this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Councilmember Trakis. I move for adoption of resolution number uh, one. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember Gray? Yes. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Trakis? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, resolution number one, there are seven ayes. Uh, resolution one is approved or adopted. Resolution number two, introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move for adoption of resolution number two. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember Gray? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Trakis? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, resolution number two, there are seven ayes. Resolution number two is adopted. Resolution number three, introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move for adoption of resolution number three. Second. Roll call, Mr. Chair? Yes, roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Um, aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember Gray? Yes. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Trakis? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, resolution number three, there are seven ayes. Resolution number three is adopted. Resolutions number four through six, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Uh, those are ceremonial resolutions. I move for adoption of resolutions four, five, and six. Second. Okay. Okay. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember Gray? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Trakis? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on resolutions four through six, there are seven ayes. Resolutions four through six are adopted. Moving on to unfinished business, Mr. Chair, item number one, six district. Hold on the order of business, Mr. Chairman. Uh, held, uh, so ordered. Item number two, third district. Received by Alma County Council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number three, fifth district. Uh, I think that's uh, received file and the appointment of Joey Adams Garden to the Older Adult Commission be approved as requested. Second. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The one you just handed. And moving on to new business, Mr. Chair, we have two prepared orders. I move for adoption of orders number one and two. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Orders one and two are adopted. Uh, were there three? Did I? Were there three orders? One two. Then there are three adopted. There's only two. Two yeah, orders. Two I orders. Two. I only there are three items, but two items are within orders uh, one and two. Got that? So there's two orders, two orders. for three items. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned.